and twitch.tv slash beyond the summit 2 here we have the match that will decide who is going to be eighth place and top uh top half as well c9 or lgd jackie mao he got smacked around a little bit more by ppd you know these two have always clashed a bit they're very different personalities and ppd wasn't sure if they were actually guaranteed top eight he just wanted to check you know just know, wants to make sure like are you guys top eight yet how's it going over there you know, in the bottom right. half of the bracket, he's just being a friendly, <laughs> chatty guy. Yeah, Is looking out for the North American <laughs> representatives. <laughs> Cloud Nine. I don't think they were greatly appreciative of him being concerned. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go into the match, uh, our small five days bet about who's gonna win each match has finished, uh, and we have a winner, and we have a loser. Let's start with the winner. The winner of the bet of Bruno's Casino. Bruno's Casino is actually Cinderen with a million points. Cinderen, wow, you earn the right to give this to the loser. The loser. Is it you, Andrew? It's not me. Is it you, Winter? Sorry, friend. <laughs> the loser of the competition. <laughs> LD. Now, I have two arguments. I, okay. I, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to use. First of all, is I really won because I get to wear the horse mask and that right. was going to go along. And argument number two is I didn't even get to participate on day two. It's not fair. No. <laughs> you won, so it's fine. Oh. You oh get to God. wear these during the oh pre show. God, I can't breathe. It's fine. He's it's already It smells like sh Shannon and Pepto. <laughs> and Pepto. It smells like Pepto in here. <laughs> and he's also a Patriots I fan. <laughs> I can't see <laughs> Twitch chat now. <laughs> How am I supposed to do the panel? Well, you, you have, you have to. to look through the nose. Yes. Channel your inner horse. Channel Can I pry my jaw? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Okay. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. C9 versus LGD. Mr. Horse, can you tell us about LGD's path throughout this um, throughout this group stage? They came in looking very strong. <laughs> they were not that strong. <laughs> <laughs> they were not that strong. What are your thoughts on LGD? Um, <laughs> they they have a penchant for <laughs> inconsistency. <laughs> I can't take you seriously when you talk to me. We're just breaking the studio. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it is actually kind of hard. You have a real question, he turns you just like, Ooh? <laughs> Oh, really, fool? <laughs> Bruno's casino is slowly imploding here. The house is broke. LD, you have broken the house. <laughs> I'm just glad we weighed down the set with sandbags. <laughs> you were saying, Mr. Horse. I'll try not to look at you in the eyes. That's very unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. They can beat anyone. They can lose to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> the potential for throw is there with LGD. Uh, how about Cloud9? Can, can they beat Cloud9? <sighs> I think Cloud9 at their best should win. Okay. But they're on tilt. Andrew, do you agree with the us? <sighs> Essentially, yeah. I think... Very even matchup. The Dota 2 launch bets are like 53% <laughs> in favor of Cloud9. An even match. I think I I think Cloud9 can do it. <laughs> I I it's a coin flip. It's a coin flip. It's a coin flip. Winner, what do you think? Who's taking this series? <laughs> <laughs> Tell Mr. LD. Uh, sorry, Mr. Horse, but I think Jackie Ma will do this. Jackie Ma will take this. You yes. think he can do it? Yes. The C9. They win when it matters. Yes. And they need to be second. They can't be second if they are not eighth. No, they, they need to be eighth place. That did not sound right. <laughs> <laughs> what I meant was they needed to be in 8th place so they can play with Secret. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. They want to play with Secret, they want the rematch, they want to get to beat that techies. 
They sure do. <laughs> they sure do. Um, wow, so these teams really taking their time getting in the lobby here, <laughs> extending our horse time. <laughs> at least, at least he's a Patriots fan. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, a it's proud a, it's Patriots, a Patriots fan. horse. Uh, Mr. Horse. Yes. What? Um, <laughs> I mean, we've seen Shadowfin, we've seen Chance, we've seen Lycans. Yeah. What is the unsung hero of the tournament, in your opinion? Um, unsung? Yeah, unsung. Let's not go like th there's the easy choices, but your inverse vengeful spirit. Uh, Bristleback. I like that. No one's really talking about it. Winter, you might have to help the horse get his hat on. <laughs> he's struck. He's in Strug City here. Yeah, let's let's <laughs> put it. With there the you go. Yeah. Get those ears there. Hold it. Wow. Perfect. Looks good. Yeah. So you were saying Bristleback. What about him? Um. Just that he's kind of quietly successful. Mm -hmm. No one's really talking about Bristleback being strong, but Secret using it really well. Mm -hmm. Not something LGD are going to play, though. I see. Cloud9, I don't think they've didn't ever they picked pick that it on Yao, like, one game? I remember they he, played him on Troll once. I remember he was on Bristleback one game. Yeah, that sounds like it didn't work. <laughs> That was so mean. <laughs> that was so mean to Yao. Dude, I mean, Winter, we cast Yao. He is, he is a liability yeah. right now. I'm trying to help him. So hopefully his team helps him by getting Ember. Getting Ember. Right. Hopefully these players help me by he, getting he, in the lobby. We're still 8 out of 10. <laughs> Who's missing? They must Let's know what's see. happening. They're just like taking their sweet We are missing time. Fata and... We are missing Yao. Yao and Fata. We are definitely missing the old Yao. Uh, the old Yao, yeah. yeah. We, what, we happened to, what happened to the Yao Magnus? Where's the Yao Magnus? Yao Magnus. I think that was... Uh, yeah. Offlane Magnus. Offlane Magnus Yao. Yeah. That's a, that was... That but was he, a he was even going mid at times, even after the skewer nerf. Yeah. And doing really well. They put Xiao in offlane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what happened, man? <laughs> what happened, Winter? What happened? <laughs> the horse, man. <laughs> times are changing. What happened, Winter? Tell me! <laughs> Don't look at a gifted horse in the mouth. <laughs> it's okay. like Medusa. Just don't look at it. He got. He didn't. Get, <laughs> he, he didn't get. He didn't get to play his his Amber, <laughs> and he didn't get to play his Invoker. The last game he played Amber, they won. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but they can't even see what you're doing, Bruno. <laughs> no, I know. No, but basically, I feel he has not been. Playing the the heroes that he's been known for, been really good at heroes that have. Uh, I think T Burn said this before. He's been he uses Amber really well because he knows how to utilize the spell, the slide and chains combination. Mm -hmm. He's always really good at getting the combos right, getting it on two heroes, doing a lot of setup for his team. And if you put him on a hero like Troll, like you mentioned, obviously not gonna work. And he's like a playmaking player. He doesn't like to farm. Mm. Doesn't not so suitable at farming. I would say maybe he likes to farm, but just doesn't yeah. work out. C can you see Ember working at all with the heroes that are being picked right now? <laughs> Difficult, and he actually didn't even particularly play well in the Ember game. We casted. Yeah, he messed up a couple of times, but don't yeah, there were some pretty bad overextensions. Yes, Mr. Haas, I know. Yes, Mr. Haas, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. <Ev>. Horse, <laughs> Mr. Ev, the talking uh -oh. horse. We're down to 7 out of 10 in the lobby, uh, LD. I, I think they found out about the horse casting. And I they're think like, they know. <laughs> We're hey, out of Winter, here. What, do you, what do you think? Do you ban Ember first phase if you're, uh, if you're Cloud9? <laughs> it Come sounds on. like it. Come on. <laughs> Try to focus here. I, if I can be professional. <laughs> you can't see yourself. <laughs> I have to be inside this thing, dude. <laughs> it smells awful in here. <laughs> I don't really want to know what Shannon's been doing. Hey, Winter, right, if, we've you, got if you ride him, do you think you're like you become Chaos Knight? I actually think I would become Centaur. I would stampede out of here right away. Yeah. So I, I, st <laughs> <laughs> this will not happen. <laughs> this will not happen. <laughs> this will not happen. But back to the point, whether you ban Amber, like you mentioned, Amber is not very suita suitable at the current meta phase, but it would be a strong option to actually take out Amber. Like, just give Yao the troll or the Bristleback, whatever. Yeah. Andrew, you've been particularly quiet. <laughs> I'm having no, trouble he, focusing No, he wasn't well. particularly quiet. He was just hiding and just laughing all the way. I, I'm 
Yeah, I'm keeping tabs on the lobby here. Yeah, to see that, how that, quickly that, we can end this madness and get into this game. That is your job. I like how you raise Twitch chat. It seems like he's taking. It's a horse taking a selfie. <laughs> horse selfie. Can you do a horse selfie and we like we 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 join you and you tweet that? <laughs> <laughs> You're thirsty. You need some drinks. <laughs> I'm trying. So what do you? I think? can help you if you want. Like we can do it with this. Ah, but you can do it in your phone, so you can tweet it on your. Oh, are we, are we doing a selfie? Side. Okay. It's gonna yeah. be like yeah, off-centered because he can't see anything. Oh, damn! I was supposed to be inside. You, you can you can take the uh, the mic. Oh, you can, uh, I guess oh. we can fit. Is this a group selfie? Is that yeah, yeah, come here, come here. All right, all right, here we go. A live selfie. Wait a little bit. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, all right. Cool. Yay, we all have a horse selfie now. Perfect. So, bans against <laughs> Cloud9. Yes. Winter, what do you think? How do we draft against Cloud9? We saw in the last match they, they tried to do things a little differently. They went Tiny Wisp with their opener. They put Bone 7 mid on a Magnus uh, instead of Fada, who ended up uh, in the off lane. Ban, ban the Bat Rider. Yes, ban the Bat Rider. Yeah, okay. for sure. The go to Bone 7 hero. Other key bans. Has he had uh, any, uh, like, uh, solid games? Rider, I, I think you don't need to buy the Wisp. Like, give them the Wisp. Yeah. They haven't performed with the Wisp. That's no. a good point, actually. You, you go back to the Big Pro Daddy Wisp on Secret, but it seems to be a totally different ball oh, game. Probably just Troll and Bat Rider. Troll Bat? Yeah. Okay. Those are the safe bands, I'd say. Yeah. Maybe if you want, you can take away the Chen from them, because they have two good Chen Oh, players. yeah, there was mm -hmm. one game they played a very good Chen yeah. that won them the game. Yeah. yeah. So... Owie Chen is always something to be scared of. Owie's a hard... Owie Chen. Uh, Owie used to play on Cloud9. <laughs> Old <laughs> habits die hard, I'm telling Jesus, you. Jesus, yes. dude. Uh, Get it together. <laughs> we have 10 people in the lobby yeah. on the good Get it together, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, we do have 10 we out of 10. We're getting lectured by a horse. I am, it's it's all going downhill, guys. We're doing so well, and things are finally devolving here on the final day of the group stage. I mean, my question is more like, what is LGD's game plan versus Cloud9? They've mostly been playing this, you know, very turtley style of draft. The very Time Hunter... <laughs> The Medusa for Silar, the super late game. They might need to get a little more aggressive here against Cloud9. I mean, we've seen them play that, that greedy role. Cla <laughs> if <hit> if <laughs> Classically, <laughs> Cloud9's been <laughs> very good <laughs> at playing greedy, choosing when to take appropriate fights, and choosing when to sit back and farm. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know that LG can just get away with the, the turtle fest here, just sit back and kind of wait for Cloud9 to make a mistake. Yeah, but... You said about they haven't been performing with Wiz Tiny, but LGD being very passive, they might actually not a they might not be able to actually punish your Wiz and Tony. It because could be. Yeah, th because they like to play passive anyway for their own benefit, their own play well, style. Well, maybe they would like to pick and do so themselves and be like, okay, you want to play the Tony and the Wiz? We can play late game game too. Mm -hmm. Late game game. Late game game. Late game game. And late game uh, game. And they, I see one of their reactions when the opponent picks uh, Medusa from MB, which is to give Bone Seven the Nyx as the Nyx mm -hmm. assassin. But it, like you mentioned, other than the bat, he he's not been performing. That's not yeah. saying that he is not good at those heroes. It's just yeah, he in it this used particular to tournament he used to be one of his best heroes. The Nyx offlane, they were the only teams that actually consistently run the Nyx offlane. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but maybe not now. And uh, we'll see what happens with Cloud Nine. I really want this game to start. LGD's ready. We're waiting on the good word from Cloud9. Will Jackie Mao have mercy on LDZ? Or will he extend the torture? It is in the hands of <laughs> one EE <e>. Sama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're ready. They're ready. They're good to go. Actually, uh, another thing that I'm Yee! interested in. Um, at the same time as this game, IG versus Hyperglory team mm -hmm. is playing. Do you think HGT can take the game out of IG? If they do... They're safe from bottom four. Ooh, that's a tough match. HGT, they've been playing okay, but I think IG has just looked better on all fronts. IG, IG looks way better. Yeah. HGT IG, looks pretty bad, actually. IG would, pro would just straight out win that game. Yeah, I, I, that'll I be a tough one. I don't one. see them being able to actually upset IG unless something may just screw up. They didn't feed Tron and GG. They <laughs> <laughs> Even if HGT gets into the bracket, they're they're losing first round lower bracket and getting knocked out. I don't I don't see them beating any of these teams. Okay. What about um, Hellraisers versus Tongfu? Tongfu. Oh, easy for Hellraisers, well. dude. Come on now. Well, but Tongfu won today versus um, Bloodsuka mid versus Navi. Navi. They beat Navi. So Tongfu, yeah, they they looked pretty good against Navi today. 
I feel like the Tongfu HR game could be actually be surprisingly good on Tong, paper. Tongfu needs the point more than HR. HR's top eight is secure. Yeah. Yeah. So Tongfu has the greater motivation for this game. And HR doesn't. Although HR, if they lose, they could potentially play against Secret. Yeah, whoever oh, is yeah. whoever's actually in eighth place will be against uh, Secret. How, how is HR LGD go? Um, so you you scroll down. Scroll oh. down. HR LGD. HR. HR LGD. LGD here. Yeah. So, so HR won. They uh, won. So that's fine. And Cloud9? HR versus Cloud9. Uh, they won versus Cloud9 as well. <laughs> okay, so they're. So they're HR not has the head to head. Okay, so they are playing absolutely for nothing. Okay. They are locked. In that uh, and seventh place, Tong Fu are fighting for survival to yeah. not be in the bottom four. Big motivation for Tong Fu. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy, we've got oh a boy. draft. Yes. And it's going by quick. I Let's think we go. should. But before, uh, well, I was oh. gonna say, if you like this phase, we're going into a draft, but you're not gonna miss it. You know why? Because let's go into the draft version 2.0. Almost there we go. <laughs> 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 the picture in picture. Nice. Hashtag production value. LD. We see the troll ban. We see the juggernaut. Is LGD picking the axe first pick? Mm, no, I think Tidehunter is a possibility. Well, maybe not versus the jug. Mm, let's see. Axe, yeah, axe might be a choice for them. It's not really an LGD hero, though. Okay. <laughs> it's so hilarious. I do like the, I do like the lion ban uh, versus MMY. It's been his go-to. Mm -hmm. They do right. get the Lycan. Lycan, a hero that we haven't seen at all today. Oh, the Silar Lycan. It's normally been second stage versus this team. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we Winter, have you're the professional analyst here, dude. Try to keep it together. Yes. <laughs> you're the Asian Merlini. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose your breath. <laughs> w Winter's getting abs from laughing so hard here. <laughs> 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 He's like, please cut me off. Just kill the audio. I can't keep with this. <laughs> kill the... Make it... <laughs> kill the... I don't know what he wants sour. us to kill him. He's like <laughs> the horse to sleep. Let's turn him into hamburgers. <laughs> I can't even see the whole draft at once. I have to, like, pan across it. <laughs> Does this help? Yeah, I guess if I go like this, I can... Uh... Does this help? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Never look well, a gift horse in that. <laughs> LGD thinking about this second pick quite hard here, dipping into the reserve time. I guess the big question for me is: Do Cloud not even consider the Wisp, or if they are they just feeling so unconfident in it that they completely skip it? Wisp is dangerous against Lycan though. Lycan's five men is so strong. I, I like that they, they pick Lycan and Axe because if they don't pick the Axe, it's a very easy counter mm -hmm. straight away. So they secure these two. Suddenly. Uh, you have two melee, very tanky cores. So anything that can punish that is pretty, pretty good for Cloud9. Yeah. Uh, Timber Saw Timber comes, to, comes mind. to mind. Yeah. Uh, Tide Hunter even comes to mind mm -hmm. because the Ravage will always probably hit them both until Lycan gets the BKB at least. Does can how about Enigma Winter? Have they ever run Enigma recently on Cloud9? I don't think so. No. no. I, I haven't seen them. Just yeah, in terms of matchup well against melee heroes. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm worried if you go for Enigma and you go for a jungler, offlane X will wreck your lane with just another support. So, so for example, you X and Witch Doctor, and you have a jungling Enigma. The, the lane with the jungler. How about a, a Necrophos? That's a hero that Eternal Envy used to like. Oh. Yeah, I actually talked this, talk this about with LD. Like, I think Necrophos is a good way of dealing with the X. He Horsey approves. Horsey approves. You jump in, you call, you try to get a target down. He comes in with the mech or the heal, the death pulse, stops you from culling blade, the target, and then turns the fight around, drops his reaper side on you, and just axe just becomes useless in a fight. Yeah. Just because of that. A necro will naturally build a lot of armor because he has a mech, uh, because he will always build some stuff like that. And uh, he has like, well, actually, he has very poor armor. It's one armor uh, early game. Yeah. But so double ring of protection double ring opener. Of yeah, you, you, can, you can get him uh, a little bit of uh, armor as well. And just with that and the heal, he becomes a hard uh, one to focus himself. Cloud9 may want to consider the Magnus this go around. Double melee opener from LGD could be an okay Magnus game. Mm -hmm. They ban the pack, which is another counter to like. And I think LGD is... I if you look at what they're banning and what they're picking, they certainly want Siler to have the best Lycan game of his life. 
It's like you, you, c you can work around the rest of our lineup, but please, please, please don't pick anything that can disrupt our like and play. I mean, uh, I feel like LGD would love to pick Puck for themselves, but the issue is just that Yao hasn't really been playing that well, and I don't know if Puck is his hero. But Puck would be great for them. Good against Jug. Good with Lycan. Gives them some much-needed presence in the lanes. How about the Witch Doctor for Cloud9? Because Lycan doesn't have any way to stop Death Ward, and Axe kind of have to call the Witch Doctor, but Witch Doctor will always pop the word after the call, so... It seems like it would be good. Oh, on the other hand, Axe, with his call in the armor, is not going to take a lot of damage. But he's easy to land the Maledict on. He's a hero that is going to take a lot of mm -hmm. damage by definition. So yeah. maybe it's something that Cloud9 wants to have in mind. Cloud9 ban out the Ancient Apparition, and that leaves LGD to ban out the Shadow Ten Friend. Mm. Yep. It no feels friends. like they want to... They want to go with the Wiz, though, after the AA ban, so they can actually use the... The healing ward. And oh, yeah. Visage is weird here. Visage for LGD. Could this be Visage Dro coming ah, out? I just oh, saw horrible. You know who used to yeah, run this? I, I, uh, HGT ran this no. a while ago. This is the exact same heroes that LGD the other day had, and they ran the support mopping. Oh, oh, oh. Just saying. All right, we'll see, Winter. Maybe they'll do it. Yeah. I mean, if you put a draw here, it's pretty much exclusively for the Visage because neither yeah. the Axe or the Lycan is going to get anything out of that. Well, the Howl in tandem with the Aura is pretty. Yeah, the Visage becomes scary. the one position at that point. Yeah. yeah. It's like the Lycan and the Draw are just supports. Does the Howl affect Visage? Familiars? No. Only Lycan scripts and, yeah, and other the heroes. heroes. Yeah. yeah, not the birds, but. Not the birds. Still, just the Howl with the Aura on the heroes is yep. so scary in that mid game. Yeah, that is something that's going. The other thing that LGD doesn't have right now Wait. is reliable stuns at the moment. Doesn't it affect the prophet summons? Yeah, and the the How? spider lanes. Oh yeah, it yeah, does affect. It does. It oh does. yeah, whole affects every every, every, so it every use. Yeah, yeah. Every so it also affects the birds. Hits the birds. Okay. Yeah. So Ice Frog, Ice Frog is testing us. Yeah. Making sure we're paying attention. Mm -hmm. Some Yoda shit. <laughs> 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 hmm. Do do you even do you still want to go wisp here, Winter? Do you think? I, I don't know. What I, else do they go? I just feel like I, I there's. What have they been running well? Beastmaster for Fado is something they have run. Decent versus Lycan. Bristleback, Bristleback is good versus the Familias. Yeah. I'm not sure about the Bristleback here, to be honest. It is good Axe versus forces, the uh, Axe It helps them rush. It helps them rush as well. Axe forces you to look at you when he calls you. You yeah. entirely control where Bristleback is looking. As opposed to other stands, like. If the stun stuns you when you're looking back, you stay looking back, and the other team has to catch up to you. Axe right. makes you look at him, so it will make Bristleback, the skill, useless. Um, but then again, it is a pick that Cloud9 felt comfortable with, and maybe at this point it's not about countering the other picks, but rather just find whatever makes mm. you feel comfortable. So, so what do they need now? They need a Fada hero I and they need a support. I have this feeling they might actually consider go b going back to what they did the last game. They have two melee calls. They go for Magnus on Bone 7. <laughs> 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 Magnus Bone 7? <laughs> <laughs> no, I am your father. LGD. Yeah, I, uh, I guess that would be an option though, going back for the Magnus on Bone 7 and having the two melee calls on their side. And Feta was the one actually playing the Bristol back the last time around. LD. LD is going full Vader. Okay, it's LGD who's going to take the Witch Doctor. Alright, maybe uh. preemptive here in case the Wisp comes out for Cloud9. It could be like a Bristol Wisp pairing here, maybe what they're afraid of. Hmm. Witch Doctor is really good against the Bristol back as well, in the fights with the Melody. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it could well be. Do we have Dota TV audio? Yeah, should. On our end, it looks good. The little bar's moving. Oh, excellent. It. Yeah, some people were. It's happening. It's happening. It's yep. happening. There's a lot of... Okay, entirely, uh, once again, LGD, all physical damage. The only big source of magical damage is Soul Assumption. And Maledic. Dazzle? Get a Dazzle pick? Get a Dazzle pick would be great here, actually. Well, there is an X though, so there's the chop chop. Yeah, slap chop. The only issue I have with Dazzle is that makes their heroes rely on the bench stun. And against Lycan, you need to have multiple ways of locking him down, not just a bench stun. What about a uh, Rubik, Winter? 
No, the Wisp. Right. The Wisp. Right. Okay. They you banned the AA. That's why I felt they would have went back for the Wisp. So how are they gonna lane the? Or do they go like uh, Bristle Wisp in the off lane? Do you think? They can. Yeah, that could actually be potentially a lot of trouble for LGD to handle with the Visage. Who, who would they even lane against that? I guess would you put Silar mid? Yeah. 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 If, you, if you do that, you have to put Silar mid. Then I guess Yao is going to play. Yao is gonna play. What, what is, is Yao gonna play? I'm actually trying to think. X usually is in July's hero, so. Mm -hmm. You know, this this game is going to be so clowny. All four cores are melee. That, like, when you see that, it, it's like low level pumps. Like, everyone <laughs> melee just like hitting each <laughs> other. Venomancer. It's like Pee Wee oh, Soccer. You know what? It would be a really good yeah. Venom game. And it's easy to execute, which I think for Yao right now is pretty important. Yeah. Man, we I I I think we we are like feeling we are like bullying Yao too much. Give him a break. Give him a break. How about yeah. Yao Invoker? Is it a good Invoker game when you have Breezel, Io? It can Bang. be a good Invoker game. Huh. Yeah, Quasvex Invoker. Quasvex Invoker. Invoker. Pretty <laughs> Quasvex Invoker. Pretty good against the Bristle back and the uh, Whis. It's really good against the Whis. Yeah. Hmm. Do they do they just say screw it and go Ember? But I still <laughs> think Ember Ember they have no lockdown, so you you have these mobile heroes like Lycan and Ember. It very, is decent against Wisp as down. well. Yeah, very hard for them to lock you down. It could be something that LGD are just seriously considering. It's just the laning phase could be a little rough for him. The other concern that I have with Ember is that if like in a sieging scenario, whether you're the sieger or the CG, I just invented two words. Um, just Juggernaut having that healing ward is going to prevent a lot of the constant damage that Flight of Fist does. They have good. Yeah. They have a good lineup to sli they snipe yeah. healing ward though. They, they have, have the wolves, oh, they, they have, have the, the birds. Yeah. and the uh, wolves. It's not going to and be difficult. Oh, and it's a team versus. All right. Wow, Shank. they take the timber. Huh. Good against, very good against Wisp. Yep. Very good against Wisp. Yeah. And Bristle. And Bristle, yes. Pure damage is good. Reduce so is it the stats. Yao timber mid, I guess? Because I think we saw him play this uh, two days ago, and he he was up against a Wind Ranger. He got wrecked. With okay. Hal. It was yeah, a Wind Ranger with Hal, and he got really destroyed in lane. Yeah. And C9's last hero. Who's the father here? Yeah, I was talking about Vino might actually be a very good pick in this sort of game. We a could be seeing the Fada hero, or could we could be seeing maybe even an Eternal Envy hero if Fada decides to play the Juggernaut. The, yeah, the last, so the last game say. they had Fata on, uh, they had Fata on the Bristol back and Bone Seven yeah. on the Magnus. On the Mag, yeah. And okay, this be oh wow, the, the Forgotten Zero LC. Four Legion Commander. Hmm. She has, it she is, is really. Good. They have a long duration lockdown for the Lycan. Yeah. Is that that is what, what is the interaction between Jewel and Berserker's call? Do you know? Hmm. If... Well, w well what do you mean? Each one, like, like you can't I cast Jewel both you and he Berserker calls me. Do I attack you because I'm taunted by you or do I attack him because I'm taunted by him? Yeah, not that's a good question. Team. Probably won't happen. No, that's a matter. No. No, yeah. no, he's saying like if you're already Le dueling Legion, and then you Legion get called. Let's say Legion duels um, Visage. Visage. And like X Axe calls Legion. Calls Legion. <laughs> Who does Legion attack? Himself. <laughs> he just gets He's confused right. and kills himself. He hurts himself in his confusion. Ash catch him. Pokemon Is it just the order of operation? If the call comes second, then it turns and faces the Axe? Probably. That's how I would guess that, it That's works. what sounds logical, but... Who knows? Yeah, but the lanes... Sometimes there are those just It's like things. Pokemon, dude. He, he hurts himself in his confusion. Oh, right. <laughs> Good. Duel greater than call, says the chat. Duel has more priority. Okay. Duel is stronger. Oh, well, maybe Ooh. we'll see it here. Okay, anyways, we're going to go into the game. LD will finally be able to breathe. <sighs> you survived, LD. Congrats. Congratulations. Nice, uh, right, uh, predictions before we go? Cloud9. What Cloud do you guys think? I, th I think I said LGD was my vote. I think it's pretty close, though. I think LGD will do it, but it'll be a, a close one. And I, I believe. I believe in Jackie Mao as well. I believe in Jackie Mao. Right. After seeing this draft, I think LGD has L a LD? slightly better draft. Uh, I worry about Yao, but uh, yeah, I'm going to say Cloud Knight as well. Okay, All well, right. that's it. Say bye-bye to the horsey. Horsey, say bye-bye. Bye-bye.